If you're looking for cheap, safe, and reliable MT, make sure you go check out my new sponsor, SafeMBAMT.com. Use code JC2K for 5% off and go build that God Squad you always wanted. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I am going to be ranking the top 10 budget, or I guess by, by budget, I mean invincibles that you can buy for a buy now in NBA 2K21, my team right now. Every card on this list could be bought for 100K or less as of, I mean, last night. Uh, that could mean because a couple of these guys are right on that verge like there's a couple of them up for 100k but they're right on that verge of 100k a couple of these cards might be just a tiny bit over 100k now so uh, if that is the case i do apologize i did make this list last night so it may not be perfectly accurate but i do believe that all or basically all of these cards are 100k or i mean if they're not 100k they're right at that 100k bid mark anyway so all these cards are elite cards cards you can pick up for your squad for a reasonable price who can make a solid impact and make your team better and uh, if you're looking for cards to pick up for your squad these are guys who are going to be great options for that um before we hop into it if you haven't make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel help me push towards the 2500 subscriber mark on the channel really appreciate all the recent support looking forward to 2k22 and without further ado let's hop right into it and start with number 10 so at the number 10 position we have jimmy butler invincible jimmy is a super super solid small shooting guard small forward option i definitely would recommend running him at the shooting guard position if you pick him up because he is only six foot seven he does have tall hair but kind of a short wingspan or turts in terms of playing lanes but he does have a solid player built height wise hotspots everywhere obviously has 67 hall of fame badges he's not missing any crucial hall of fame badges doesn't come with steady shooter also has the jump shot 22 which is very similar to the rudy gay base upper is solid as well as the same upper as tj warren joe caldwell uh thad young it's a very very solid upper pro two he can curry slide profit behind the back he's got great dribble sigs a really nice jump shot but comes with every single stat and badge you need the jump shot is isn't elite i wouldn't say it's a very solid jumper but i'm not sure it's quite on the super super elite level which holds him back a little bit as well as the fact that he doesn't have incredible size for the shooting guard position at this point in the year but he is a very very solid card i do think he deserves his spot at number 10 on this list at number nine we have invincible larry bird who's another super super solid invincible card a guy who i think has been overlooked this year in terms of his cards he's had some solid cards that people haven't really used much which is understandable but i do think this card is very very good six nine with seven foot wingspan at the small forward position definitely do recommend and playing him there instead of power forward uh, hot spots ever 65 hoffs he comes with again every key hall of fame badge you need doesn't have steady shooter like obviously has invincible stats and larry bird release on very quick this upper is kind of weird it's kind of high but larry's release is definitely very consistent very easy to green and very quick to get off i wouldn't say it's the best off the dribble but off the catch it's elite pro two size of peak and curry slide because he is 220 pounds at six foot nine and a pro three behind the back as well very good size for the small forward position just a super solid all around card capable of doing it all he's a top small forward in the game and you can get him for a very very reasonable price at number eight we have john havlicek uh and the thing about hondo is he is the shortest player on this list but that being said hondo is a stud he can for one play the point guard position which is nice as well as the shooting guard position um six foot five with six eight wingspan so he's not super big at this point in the year especially but he has hot spots everywhere 65 hoffs he comes with all the crucial hall of fame badges uh 98 on his base the jump shot seven upper is one of the best jumpers that we've seen this year his opal had an incredible release and this card has that same release except on very quick it's very fast very easy to green one of the best uppers with base 98 combination in the game it's incredible pro two size at pro two curry slide pro three behind the back as well he's got the dribble dribble six he's got the incredible three hunting jump shot and that jump shot especially is i think what pushes him to that next level he is so good as a three hunter you could argue he's the best three hunting card in the game if that's your play style pick up this john havlicek card and have some fun with him because he is elite at number six, we have Dirk Nowitzki, and Dirk is a super good invincible as well. Um, one of the guys who I think has kind of been overlooked, similar to Larry Bird. People never really use this card a ton, but he is very solid at the power forward position. He's seven foot with a seven three wings, but hot spots everywhere in 64 hoffs. Again, he comes with all the crucial Hall of Fame badges you need, except for ankle breaker and handles for days. You can put that handles for days on Hoff as well from the token market. And then stats wise, he's elite, obviously. Jump shot 94 with Dirk upper. This is not one of the best jump shots on this list. It's fast and it's not incredibly hard to green, but it's not the easiest to green i feel like it can be a tad bit inconsistent but it is a quick release to get off very solid in the pick and pop one of the better big man releases i would say still in the game pro two size at pro three behind the back he moves very well he's got great size for the power forward position especially super solid on the defensive end as well great slasher dirk is a super super good all-around card a top big in the game that you can pick up for a very reasonable price as well i think he deserves his spot in the top 10 on this list at number seven or number six i'm sorry we have penny hardaway who is uh one of a couple point guards on this list or primary point guards i should say and um 
Penny is 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan. He's got a decent player, but he's got some nice arm length as well. Hotspots everywhere in 64 hops. Bad wise, he comes with everything you need. Stats are obviously incredible. Jump shot 75 is, while not one of the fastest releases in the, in the game, it is one of the easiest to green releases in the game. I feel like Penny's release is incredibly consistent and easy to green. One of the most green releases in the game. Pro 2 size up, Curry slide, and the Pro 3 behind the back as well. Just an incredible point guard card. He moves really good. Penny Hardaway is just one of those cards who this year just moves at a very, very high level. Great as a three hunter, really good slasher, super solid defender as well. He's got good size at the point guard position. A very, very good all around card in Penny Hardaway. At number five, we have Invincible Tracy McGrady. And T Mac is one of those guys who's right at that 100K range. He might be just a tiny bit above 100K right now. I'm not entirely sure, but last night he was at the 100K mark. And he is 6'8 with 7'2 wingspan at the shooting guard position. He's got great size, a really good wingspan for the shooting guard position, plays lanes beautifully. Hot spots everywhere in 60 hops as well. Badge wise, he comes with everything you need except for the Hall of Fame rim protector. Stats are obviously incredible. Trey Burke released with Kobe Bryant up around very quick. It's a super solid, quick jumper. I feel like it's not the easiest to green, and also he does come with hall of fame steady shooter which hurts him a little bit i feel like the one thing about t-mac that holds him back from being one of the best couple shooting guards in the game is the fact that his release gets some load ups this year it's kind of annoying it can be a little bit inconsistent because of those load ups timing the jumper can be kind of frustrating and i think part of that might be because of how long his arms are but that helps you on the defensive end so pro two sides are pro two curry slide and pro three behind the back as well very very good all-around card i really do like t-mac a lot in 2k i just think that the hall of fame steady shooter and his jump shot being a little bit inconsistent prevents him from being higher on this list despite how good of a card he actually is. At number four, we have another card who actually is very similar to T-Mac in terms of what holds him back, and that's David Robinson. D-Rob is an amazing power forward option. You can run him at center as well, but I recommend running these guys at power forward just because for the center position, I think you should be running guys like Yao Ming, Taco Fall, Simbolar, guys like that, um, Kareem, Chris Stapps, your seven foot three type players and up. But um, seven foot one, seven foot five of Inksman, he's super tall. He's got a massive player build. Arms aren't super long in terms of his player build, but he does still play lanes at a high level. Hotspots everywhere in 65 hops as well. Has everything except for dimer and ankle breaker and handles for days on Hall of Fame. But when you add those badges, I mean, he's incredible. The thing about D-Rob is um, just he has incredible defensive animations, incredible dunk animations as well. His jump shot is decent. It's similar to a guy like Dirk or T-Mac where I feel like it's not quite as good as it could be. I would say it's going to compare it more to Dirk's than T-Mac's, honestly, in that it's not incredibly easy to green, but it's fast. It's easy to get off. It's a solid jump shot. Pro 2 size up as well. Pro 3 behind the back. Pro 8 between the legs as well as an extra added bonus that most cards don't have i really do like that between the legs it gives you kind of a speed burst moving forward which is super nice and d rob is an incredible card top four i do believe of the buy now invincibles in the game at number three of Anthony Davis. And I think Anthony Davis and D-Rob are actually kind of switchable. It's kind of opinion between those two cards. The thing about Anthony Davis that makes me put him above D-Rob is the fact that I like his jump shot just a tad bit more. And I feel like his wingspan, even though they're listed the same, feels a little bit longer. He is shorter though, doesn't have as tall of a player build. Hotspots everywhere in 68 Hoffs, to be fair though. Has the Hall of Fame ankle breaker and dimer and quick for, or, uh, handles for days that David Robinson does not have. Statistically, he's obviously insane. And then he has the AD release on very quick, which I think is a more consistently easy to green release than D-Ross, which is why I prefer his release. Pro 2 size up and Pro 3 behind the back as well. Another incredible power forward option. He's very affordable. Just a very, very, very good card that you can run at the power forward position for a reasonable price. And I would put him just slightly above D-Rob because I prefer his jumper just that little bit. And then at number two, we have LaMelo Ball. And I was not as high on LaMelo Ball until I used his card. And he is just so much better than I thought he was. What LaMelo Ball, similarly to Penny Hardaway, moves phenomenally in terms of three hunting. He's just one of those cards who moves great, but he's also six foot eight. He's a little bit bigger than uh, Penny. He has a slightly better player build as well. Hotspots everywhere, 65 hops. He's got every Hall of Fame badge except for Rim Protector that you could want. Um, stats are obviously just with every card in this list. Incredible. He's got a jump shot 38 with Austin Rivers upper, which I think is a super quick release. It's easy to get off. It's easy to green. It's one of the best uppers, I think, with jump shot 38 this year. 38 isn't quite as good as it was last year, but that being said, with the Austin Rivers upper, I actually like it a lot. I think he's very, very easy to green with. I think he's consistent. Uh, pro 2 sides of Pro 2 Curry slide, Pro 3 behind the back. As a 3 hunter, he's elite. He's a great slasher. He's a little bit better defender than a guy like Penny Hardaway as well. Just an incredibly complete all around card. This Lamella ball card, he's super fun to use, super popular guy in real life, and a great card in 2K as well. And then at the number one position, the best buyout invincible card in the game. 
I think is Joel Embiid. I have been so high on Joel Embiid cards this year. I loved his prior Galaxy Opal, and this card is just more of the same. Seven foot with a super tall player build, seven five wingspan, long arms, hot spots everywhere, 67 hops. He comes with every Hall of Fame badge you need, including the ankle breakers, handles for days, and dimers that some centers don't have. He's got the all 99 stats. Jump shot 47 with Zachary Levine upper, similar to a jump shot 75, I think is one of the easiest to green releases in the game. It may not be incredibly fast, but it's chicken off the peak. It's incredibly chicken off the catch. One of the the most knockdown releases every time i shoot with a guy with jump shot 47 i expect it to be green and Embiid is no different and i think Embiid may have the best jump shot 47 with zach levine's upper which is also phenomenal pro two size up uh pro three behind the back pro two between the legs just an incredible all-around card a top power forward in my team i think more people should be running joel Embiid because of how affordable he is and how elite this card is phenomenal option at the power forward or even the center position and just an incredible all-around card so these are the top 10 invincible buy now cards in the game in my personal opinion and there are other guys who could you could argue can make this list a guy like kobe bryant michael jordan dwayne wade guys like that but i personally prefer all these guys on this list and think especially these top five or six seven guys are incredibly elite cards who can be run honestly any of these cards can be run at a competitive level all these cards are great really fun to use as well and uh, i recommend picking up any of these guys if you're looking for a guy to fill a spot on your team or if you're a fan of any of these players because they can all hoop at a super high level for an incredibly reasonable price so if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace